Um, in this tutorial, I am going to explain how to connect a JSP program to a database in MySQL. In the previous tutorial, I have explained about so what is JSTL, so what are the categories of JSTL, so how programming is easy with JSTL when compared to JSP. So we have discussed about core text, functional text, formatting text, XML text, and we have concentrated particularly on JSTL SQL tags and these are all different type of attributes with JSTL SQL tags and also make sure you have to include this header file when you are writing JSP JDBC programming okay if you want this information or explanation you can get it from my YouTube channel under this video okay so now we will concentrate on JSP JDBC programming using JSTL SQL tags so while you are implementing JSP JDBC programming, you are using SQL tags, JSTL SQL tags. If you want to use JSTL SQL tags, then you have to import this library file. See here, HTTP colon slash slash java dot sun dot com slash JSP slash JSTL slash SQL. That means you are using so SQL tag, and the prefix is SQL. Okay, in the programming, I have used some uh, syntax like for each. So for each belongs to core tag. So I have included a core tag syntax. See here, JSTL core prefix equal to C. Now the steps are, first of all, you have to connect your JSP program to database using set data source tag. See here, SQL set data source var equal to let me write it as a, so some variable db so in my system I have installed mysql so I am trying to connect my JSP program with mysql so I have written driver like com.mysql.jdbc.driver okay and mysql is in my local system so url equal to jdbc colon mysql says local host and i'm using mca database mca database i already created mca database see here so show databases so there is a mca database i'm using mca database inside mca database there is a table called emp okay i will connect my jsp program to MCA database and I will try to do some operations on EMP table okay so user equal to root my SQL username is root password is root so this is the syntax to establish connection between your JSP program and my SQL database now the next step is so you have to write your query okay if it is select statement then you can go for SQL query if it is DML statement, you have to go for SQL update statement. So in this example, so I'm trying to retrieve some rows from the EMP table, which is in MCA database. So I will go with SQL query operation. So here, SQL query, so data source equal to, I will write it as like a DB. Okay. So my data source name is DB, which contain all the information about MCA database okay and I will store my result that means after executing the SQL statement the result will be stored in the result attribute and my SQL statement is select star from EMP and close the SQL query okay so you have connected to a backend database MCA and you have prepared your SQL select statement and the result is available with the variable result the next step is so I like to retrieve all the rows in the result variable I like to retrieve all the rows in the result variable okay and this table contain two rows and two columns the column names are e number and e name so this result set contains values for e number and e name okay so result set contains how many rows one two two rows so two rows so for this purpose i'm going to use core tag that is for each tag okay it's a loop statement so i'm taking one variable that is i and i starts from item is equal to see here results dot row 
that means result dot row means so all the result contain two rows so i starts from the first row i starts from the first row and then it goes to second row if there are 10 rows i starts from first row to last row 10th row okay so first time i is 101 row so i'm trying to display the value c out value equal to dollar i dot e number that means first row e number value that is 101 next first row e name value that is ashok okay again loop repeats so now i value goes to second row this time it will print 102 and it will print kumar okay let's try to execute this code just copy this code so place it in web apps okay i have created a folder called jstl program okay in this you have to paste your program let me paste my program here okay so manage app and the folder name is so jstl program and the program name is demo jdbc okay. demo jdbc dot jsp see here the output 101 ashok 102 kumar okay in the next tutorial we are going to concentrate on sql update tag okay sql update and we are going to concentrate on SQL param tag. Okay, thank you.